Do not harass the person I'm about to mention in this video. This video is purely for informative purposes. If I had a dollar for every time I invited someone to play video games with my group of friends and I, and while at first they seemed pretty cool and turned out to be a huge fucking mistake and nearly split the friend group apart, I would have two dollars, which is not shit, but it's funny that it happened twice. This is Couch Dweller. She's a Twitch streamer that I ran into on an Insurgency Sandstorm game one night when I was playing with my group of pals. Originally, she was pretty cool, and to her benefit, really, she's pretty entertaining. She was cool enough that we invited her into my Discord server. However, things took a downturn when you start playing video games that require a little bit more attention. That game being Escape from Tarkov, which my friends and I describe as being enjoyed by two different types of people. People that enjoy inflicting pain onto others, and uh, masochists. Couch has thrown a few temper tantrums in my Discord server, mainly when we're playing Escape from Tarkov, in which I have two recorded instances of. Of course, I ended up banning her because one of the golden rules of my Discord server is to be cool to each other, to prevent uh, infighting, which is a server in which both myself and Artie's friends inhabit, as well as a few guests I met through Twitter. Another golden rule is to not rage at video games because simply put, none of us actually fucking care enough about the games we play. Both, of course, she broke a bunch of times. And her literally just being a guest and nothing more, it was an easy ban. Couch was the type of person who demanded her way or the highway, and would throw a temper tantrum whenever she couldn't get her way. Both of these clips show that side quite well. I'll let the clips play and provide context with a few breaks in between. After those two clips, I'll have the clips replay without my commentary. This first clip takes place on the reserve. The people playing are Artie, Herb Senpai, Couch, and myself. My microphone isn't working here, so I'll caption it with what I for sure remember what I said. Otherwise, I'll just let it play. Before the raid, we all agreed that our plan was to sit on top of the bunkers overlooking train station and snipe scavs running across the railway yard and K buildings. After several minutes, once most of the scavs and players have been eliminated, we hit the bodies and loot cafeteria and the entrance to the D2 extract. Very rarely do we end up taking armored train, but we were forced to this time around. Uh, that's because Couch could not hold still and kept complaining about us sitting on the bunker hills sniping at scavs and went to go fight PMCs. During the fight near the helicopter area, Couch finds some valuable loot which I remember was a tank battery I think, uh, but she ended up getting severely injured during her fight. She then demands that we help her in the fights that she gets into and uh, head towards her location to activate the hermetic door extract, which we deny as it was never a part of the plan. She rages at us and proceeds to question our gameplay style as she is forced to dump her backpack and extract through manhole extract. She continues to press the issue and even though she agreed to the strategy before entering the raid and couldn't grasp the concept that she's the one that agreed to play with us and that any deviation from our set plan was entirely on that person. Wait till the train haunts. And then, uh, I'm gonna deal with stupid shit like having to run across the fucking map with a broken leg and trying to get a tank battery out. Why the fuck are you going to stay alone? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, bro, I wasn't trying to extract an armor train and fight my way out of scabs and shit and then wait another 15 minutes through the raid. Oh, yeah, we are we are just under super heavy fire right now. It's like the train can just be empty, but sometimes it's not. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, it's a chance like everything else. Fuck off, devs, please. Just a little, like, either... I mean, I guess it's better that it, sometimes it's not, and you're like, oh, thank God. So, like, just always assume a fight, but <laughs> sometimes you get look, lucky. I'm trying to go on raids with you guys, and I have 5,000 fucking rubles. You, you keep know, buying kits, the fuck? For the best, expect the worst, you know, Herb? Gotcha. You know that little saying? I don't even know where the switch for the door is. I've never been on switch dude. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered that time because apparently the game was like, hey, even though you're, you're, even though you're, you guys are in a squad, we're gonna load you into your own server. I'm gonna be honest. At the time, people don't even take the fucking armor train, anyways. I just, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why. Like. I'm Unless we're doing some 
other shit that requires us to be in raids that long. Like, why are you going to wait that long for that stupid fucking train to give you nothing? Uh, it's called, I get to leave with a backpack and I don't have to run where the fucking gunfire is. Got out with a broken leg, dude, and no fucking armor. Uh, Jesus. Where did you escape from? Tarko. Through the center. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. Fuck off. <laughs> I was- I was assumed I meant- I meant the extract. <laughs> Hell yeah. The second clip here starts with a little late into another conflict. We are gearing up for a factory night run, in which we are nearly experts on running with or without night vision goggles. Couch wanting to get shocking kills demands Artie to buy her a sprut in which is a shotgun attachment that allows you to mount a flashlight. Artie refuses as spruts are easily obtained by killing most shotgun scavs and looting them. Couch proceeds to get pissed and tells Artie that his high level should make him feel obligated to support their lower level friends, which I want to say it's pretty bullshit because if he's not going to do he doesn't do me the favor, why it makes you think he's going to do you any favors as she doesn't have market or enough money to buy complete loadouts from traders. Artie continuously refuses. We suggest the idea of her loading in with a pistol and a naked shotgun to kill a shotgun scav and to take the spread off of the scav shotgun and throw it onto hers. It is a viable and legitimate strategy that we actually suggested completely seriously and she dismissed because we thought uh, she thought that we were trolling her, it's not a real solution and that it'll put her at a disadvantage on purpose. I get fed up to the point and I just start stripping off my primary weapons and load in with only a flashlight pistol just to prove a point. That's where this clip starts, and it shows Couch becoming increasingly hostile towards us. After this, we load in into raid, and I got 8 scav kills and 3 spruts easily, all with pistols. Disadvantage my ass. Here, Malik. Hermano, I got this. What is this? 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 Load ammo. There we go. Bang. No, I can't get one, so. Oh, you can buy enough, uh, Peacekeeper now? Okay, I'm gonna go look at Peacekeeper. Sell, I know somebody sells the one them. That I was they're just looking at. No, they're not there. I've, I link searched. They're... You don't have to go look at the traders, just link search. Oh, I'm and there's nothing. Me. I'm back. Who the fuck let okay bye Nick. <laughs> Goodbye. I leave. Wait a minute. So I'm about to change guns. If one of you went to go get a sprut and you're not telling me, I'm gonna be pissed. That's what I was Maybe fucking if you're doing. Salesman, but you, their okay. name then you need to communicate with the police. Them. And then you know, okay. like first, well, first and foremost, I was trying to make sure I have one. I'm, I thought I did. Uh, hang on, I have a solution. Okay. No, no, you I don't. I'll, I'll, no, I'll handle it myself. Just let's shut the fuck up. Just everybody shut the fuck up. Okay. Christ. Jesus Christ. I'm going to go insane. I'm going to start screaming at people because my moods are really fucking bad right now. You're I not. You're not. You. You're I, not. I, I, no, I no, will fucking yell at you. No, you're not. No, I will no, fucking not. yell at you. No, you're not. Don't. No, I'm saying, no, I'm not. I don't doubt you will, but I'm saying don't. Yeah, I would also prefer that. Please, we're chilling. I would prefer that too. Like I am, I am trying but, to find. I don't solutions. know. When I'm when you're pressuring me to get into raid and I need to get into raid, just I don't know. Maybe actually be helpful. Stop fucking trolling me. I just want to get in raid. I'm here. I don't want this to end up like the other day, dude. And I know that was my fault the other day. So. I know it's me going off the rails most of the time. So. Back. But, uh. Oh, nice gun. It's not like you don't instigate it. Yeah, I don't know. I could have swore someone sold spruts. They or I don't. need to get back in the habit. Or I need to get back in the habit of ripping every single sprut off every shotgun I ever that, see. Because I used I to used have it. a lot of spruts. Yeah, that's how I used yeah, to get mine. Literally how it's done, yeah. Well, my, my bit was always, like, I always had a surplus because I would always put three lasers on a spot. Like, yeah, you yeah. come off every scab that you come across. You, you, you do it because you were, like, the fucking predator. 
And it was hilarious because they would they would aggro on you. You're like, why are they always shooting at me? I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> but that's back before you figured out, oh, yeah, no, they aggro on fucking lasers. To be real in hindsight, I should have just banned her when she went off the rails a second time. But I held off on it because I wanted to give her a real chance. But I got increasingly tired of her deflecting all blame to us. She would also attempt to guilt trip us by claiming that we were friends and that we should be doing all these sorts of favors for her, which I'm going to say right now, I know clearly who my friends are and when someone who gets pissed and sassy that they don't get their way in a fucking video game, yeah, those people are not 100% my friend. Couch, if you're reading this to your benefit, you're cool when you want to be. But it should 100% be no secret why we stop wanting to play video games with you very quickly. Uh, I hope life treats you well some other place, but uh, yeah, I just hope we don't run into each other again. Yeah, not at all.